So here we have a power tap hub. It's an older wired one uh, that was given to us by Shane Miller. So what we're going to do is pull it apart and see what's inside. So let's remove the axle and we'll see there's a couple of little shims and you know the the, uh, the battery cover's been removed on it so uh, yeah I don't know what happened with that so Shane didn't bring that over. I don't know if he had it or not. Um, first thing let's pull these bearings out so we're using a, um, a proper bearing puller here so we don't damage the, uh, the, you know, the housing or the bearing so um, and then there's a little tube a spacer tube in there as well which came out and uh, yeah pull the other bearing out let's uh, out that one pops and uh, have a quick look at the bearing the bearing looks all good and uh, let's pack up the um, pack up the tools and let's have a look at the uh, the units as as it is. So we'll just give it a bit of a quick clean, um, especially around the ratchet ring where there's some grease and and uh, yeah, see what we can find here. So yeah, it's all you know, well pretty clean. Um, yeah, we've got the um, the little battery battery holder clip. Uh, which is normally sealed under the um, under the plastic cover. So yeah, so you have to remove the, this outer plastic cover, which is uh, that thread on the end sort of locates that, and the O-ring there seals it off from the weather. So that's sort of the only uh, user serviceable part. So we pull the battery cover off. So that runs off a couple of little coin cells. And um, you just sort of clip those in on the on the outside there, and um, and slide slide the uh, the piece, and then put the cover back on. So that's sort of typically typically how it works. So let's cut it up. So um, what we're going to do is cut a a quarter uh, a quarter section out of of the hub. So um, yeah, so we can still you know see inside it, and uh, yeah, it's just a, sort of a nice a nice way of doing it. So cutting it's all pretty easy. We've got you know basically aluminium and uh, that little bit of carbon carbon fiber on the tube, and um, but there is the ratchet ring which is sort of hardened steel. So that that took a little bit of getting getting through to, to cut that through, but um, yeah, not too bad. So that's one side done and uh, let's put it back in the vise and cut the other side so uh, in we go with the hacksaw and cutting 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 and uh, here we're getting closer almost there through the, into the ratchet ring okay so that's it so let's have a look at some of these pieces so uh, first of all, let's have a look at the main body. Um, you have a closer look in there. You can just see there's the electronics board sort of in that little cavity in there. So um, that's where all the sort of smarts are. There'd be um, the amplifier for the strain gauges and the cadence sensor and all that sort of stuff would be in there. On the outside, you've got uh, the little carbon window, which is just basically a carbon tube all the way around and bonded in. And uh, yeah, some of the features that we saw before, just that the uh, where the cover goes, we've got the ratchet ring, and uh, yeah, and the torque tube. So let's have a closer look at the torque tube. So basically, that's the tube down the middle, um, which is attached to the outer shell with that thread, and so then the, the force has to go through that tube from the um, from the ratchet ring and the cassette body basically along that tube which has the strain gauges and um, and then into the wheel so the axle so um, the, the axle end just threads on and um, and then it that retains the bearing you've got a little shim there then each bearing and you've got a spacer tube which uh, which separates the bearing so that's actually pretty critical that that's exactly the right size and then you've got the um, the cassette body with the little poles and um, and a seal. So it's an aluminium cassette body which does get chewed out a little bit, but they're replaceable. 
Then on this tube, we've got a magnet, um, which is heat shrinked on and probably bonded as well. And that's there to provide the RPM. Uh, so we need RPM and torque to provide power. So it's force times the rotational velocity gives you the power. So that's the magnet gives us the, um, gives us the RPM. Having, having a look at the battery clip again, um, yeah, so it just slides on with that little uh, little interface connector there. Um, I think the, the little blue sort of jumper wire is um, is basically just a handle. I don't think it does anything else. So, um, yeah, it just seems like a little handle for that. So let's have a look at the outer shell and, uh, and the torque tube and how that sort of works. So... So once it's assembled and you've got it locked in with the thread on the uh, non-drive side, it, it then can, uh, can float on the drive side. So as the load comes on through the ratchet ring and the, and the cassette body, it's sort of, I mean, I'm really exaggerating there, but the, the drive side end um, basically can, can float um, on, that, uh, on that wear pad. So that that wear pad right there is um, it's sort of like a hard hard slippery plastic you know it could be a sintered um, a sintered bit of plastic or something like that you know with uh, good lubricity so it, it doesn't have much friction um, and it's sealed off with an o-ring to keep the dirt out then on the tube itself um, we've got the strain gauge and um, and that's on a it's on a flat machine face to provide good bonding area, good uniform uh, bond for the strain gauge, and uh, and so you know that it, being a bit thinner there, it's going to flex in that region. So there'd be four strain gauges um, in a Wheatstone bridge arrangement to make it temperature compensated and balanced and all that sort of stuff. So um, yeah, that's basically how um, how the the power tap measures power. So that's the review on the PowerTap Hub. I hope you learned something and uh, you know, understand how it works and how it, uh, how it measures that vital resource that uh, cyclists all strive for, that being power. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Okay, bye.